Fala galera do canal, me chamo Julien Então, no vídeo de hoje veremos a repercussão internacional Sobre o envio de tropas e o envio de blindados para a fronteira com a Venezuela Mas já deixe seu like, inscreva-se no nosso canal para ajudar na divulgação e valeu! Testamento de Brasil, o exército brasileiro vai enviar 20 veículos blindados à fronteira com Venezuela entre as tensões entre o governo do presidente Nicolás Maduro e Guyana em a disputa por o control do território do Esequibo. O domingo, mais de 95% dos votantes venezolanos aprovaram em um referendo a anexão desta de região rica em petróleo, gás e minerais. Os veículos blindados, modelo Huaycarius, vão sair dos estados de Rio Grande do Sul, Mato Grosso e Paraná e vão tardar cerca de um mês em chegar a Roraima, na fronteira com Venezuela e Guyana. O equipamento vai estar ubicado no cuartel do exército em la capital, em Boavista, que se transformará em um regimento de caballería com 130 soldados. A Policía Federal também ha reforzado sua presença en esta región. El ministro de Defensa, José Mucio, afirma que el operativo ya estaba planificado para combatir la minería ilegal, pero que también se podría utilizar unidades blindadas para garantizar la seguridad en la zona. Today of another battalion of armored vehicles ordered by the Ministry of Defense of Brazil to the border with Guyana to prevent any possible invasion of our territory. After all, why is Brazil so concerned about this conflict between Venezuela and Guyana? Especially with the entry of the United States into this conflict, Brazil is mobilizing more armored vehicles in response to the Venezuelan plebiscite that took place last Sunday, increasing the contingent in the city of Roraima, bordering Venezuela. The situation escalated after the plebiscite on Essequibo, leading to further Brazilian mobilizations in response to the growing tension on the Venezuela border. The Brazilian army is in the process of mobilizing an additional 20 armored vehicles to be sent to Pacaram. This action gains prominence after the recent plebiscite approved for the annexation of the Essequibo region, currently under the control of Guyana, intensifying concerns about a possible invasion led by Nicolas Maduro. Brazil currently fears a Venezuelan invasion and reinforces its military presence in Roraima. Brazilian military officials have expressed concerns about the realization of such an invasion. Maduro would necessarily have to pass through Roraima, and a lack of Brazilian authorization for such a movement would strain relations with Brazil. The situation is compared by Brazilian military officials to the Falklands War of 1982, indicating the need for precautions with Paparema, a city on the border with Venezuela. The armored vehicles that will be sent there to that region will be either the Gate Coru or LMV armored vehicles, the new vehicles of the Brazilian Army manufactured in Minas Gerais with technology transfer. The new armored vehicles will be relocated from units in Rio Grande do Sul, Paraná, and Mato Grosso do Sul. They will add to the planned increase in military presence in Roraima with the transfer of the 18th Mechanized Cavalry Squad. The transport of these equipment faces logistical challenges, including the 700 kilometers from Manaus to Boa Vista, with part of the journey being made by boat from Belém to Manaus. Although the likelihood of a Venezuelan invasion is considered low by Brazilian military officials, the armored vehicles and troop reinforcement act as preventive measures and a deterrent force. The presence in Roraima, unlike Amazonas, is a savanna and not a dense jungle, influencing the choice of equipment. The actions of the Brazilian army aim to respond to the uncertainties generated by Nicolas Maduro's statements, maintaining vigilance in the face of the possibility of a conflict that could involve other countries, including the United States, due to the oil wealth at stake. While Brazil prepares for possible developments, Nicolas Maduro, the dictator of Venezuela, promises the recovery of Essequibo after this referendum. Guyana, in turn, remains vigilant in the face of increased tensions in the region, while the international community is closely watching these developments. In this complex situation, the tense developments in South America put Brazil on alert due to the growing possibility of a direct conflict between Venezuela and Guyana, a scenario that could have regional implications, and even drag the superpower, the largest military power on the planet, which is the United States, into this confrontation. The central concern lies in the oil issue, with the Essequibo region being a focal point of 10. Celso Amarim, an experienced Brazilian diplomat, highlights the complexity of this situation. He explains that, in addition to territorial disputes between Venezuela and Guyana, the presence of oil in the Essequibo region makes the conflict even more volatile. 
Amarim emphasizes Brazil's concern about the risk of U.S. involvement in this scenario. Given the history of intervention in regions rich in natural resources, the Essequibo region, potentially rich in oil, has become a critical point of contention. Brazil's fear lies in the possibility of a new conflict for control of natural resources, escalating geopolitical tensions in South America, and uncertainty about Nicolas Maduro's intentions and their implications in the region, increasing international concern. Brazil has been expressing its concern and acknowledges this conflict on the border with Venezuela and Guyana, which could have significant ramifications for regional stability. More in então, se eu não me engano, até mesmo Maduro fez uma postagem que avisando que as universidades e escolas da Venezuela, quando forem estudar o mapa local, já verão a região da Guiana incluída em seu próprio mapa. <risos> Ou seja, eu acho que isso não é um blefe, pelo menos na minha opinião, porque cara, é um vespeiro tão grande que por mais que politicamente ele não tivesse esse, todo esse apoio e que agora ele tenha conseguido arranjar esse inimigo externo para gerar esse tipo de engajamento lá dentro do seu próprio país, é, eu acho que é um vespeiro tão grande que o cara não ia blefar com uma coisa dessas. Ou se ele tá blefando, ele é mais maluco do que eu pensava. Então, veremos o que vai acontecer. Eu espero que o Brasil, cara, se posicione de vez mesmo e que fortifique aquela área lá. Porque não podemos dar sorte pro azar. Então, deixe seu like, inscreva-se no nosso canal, comente o que você achou sobre tudo isso e valeu!